right guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews. Uh, so we're coming back, uh, as I stated, we're gonna do some reviews on my range or battle belt, personal preference, what you wanna call it. I use it as a range belt, but it is set up for kind of a shit hit the fan scenario. Um, as much as I hate to say that. So the belt itself is a, uh, it's a Condor, it's an LCS, Kel LCS Cobra belt. Um, so it does have the genuine Cobra style buckle on it. Actually, Cobra buckle. It is a genuine Cobra buckle. Um, belt itself, I like I said, I have two of these belts and I use the same brand belt, uh, the Condor. It's cheaper. Yes, there's other options I can go with. Um, I've seen plenty of reviews on different channels. This is like a mid-level belt. That's what I want to call it. Some people hate Condor gear, um, but I wasn't looking at spending $200 for a belt, but I also didn't want to spend $10 for an Uncle Mike's. Uh, so these belts, they, they retail anywhere between $70 and $80, depending on where you're getting it from and what color you're getting it. Um, they have black, coyote brown, and green. Uh, the one for my, my range belt coyote, and then I have a black one for my duty belt or transport belt. Um, belt itself is great though. It is, like I said, it's got the genuine Cobra buckle on it. It has laser cut molly. The belt itself is constructed of two inch wide webbing. Um, the laser cut molly, it's reinforced with scuba gear or scuba webbing. And then this one doesn't have it. My one at work does. I don't like wearing keepers at work, but as you can see on the inside of the belt here, it is Velcro. So the belt does come with a, an anti-slip pad that actually Velcros on here. And it's got um, kind of a rubbery texture on the back. So once you actually put the belt on, it keeps it from sliding up or down or shifting in any way. Um, so what I actually do for the belt is I have a uh, an inner belt from Crydex. It's just a basic... Uh, Velcro belt, so it's the opposite of what's on the belt itself here. So this is the soft side. My belt that I'm wearing currently has the uh, hook on it. This is the loop. Um, and it just Velcros in. So I wear the inner and outer belt set up instead. Um, works great. It's a smaller inner belt than, I think it's, a, I want to say it's about an inch and a half inner belt from Crydex. Um, and this is the two inch belt from Condor and they still made up perfectly. I used it at a range day here recently uh, for the first time without the Safari Land setup on it and it worked great. Um, so let me get you a couple pictures here, a video of what it looks like actually put on with the uh, the Crydex belt itself. All right, guys. All right guys, so as you can see here, this is the, the Crydex inner belt. So it is run through my belt loops, it's holding my pants up. Um, and then all you do, Grab your outer belt and figure out your placement. Hook your cover belt buckle up. And that was off a little bit. Hold on a second here. And then for the Safari Land, this is the single leg strap. And this is what the belt's going to look like running. So, real simple, everything's accessible. Your double pistol mags, AR mag. I can easily get to my dump pouch in the back here. Mega kit with the snap. On the other side, I have my Safari Land uh, drop holster, radio pouch. Now, usually I'll have a mic attached to that. And then back here, I can get to the spare tourniquet. So this is, this is the rig. This is what it's gonna look like. Like I said, it's real simple. And then to take it off, once you unsnap the cover belt, unhook the Velcro, and that's it. All right guys, so that's gonna be the, the Condor LCS Cobra gun belt. Um, like I said, this is the same belt I use. Hold on, let me get this camera adjusted. Here. 
We'll just turn it up here a little bit. Anyhow, this is the same belt I use for work. Um, like I said, so I work in corrections. Um, so when we do transports, we have to go get somebody, take somebody to the hospital, something like that. We, we usually wear a setup from the facility, uh, but we also can opt to get our own setup. So uh, that's, that's the route I went. So I went with, that's actually the first Condor belt that I got was for that setup alone. And then, like I said, this one here was just kind of built afterwards. So that's gonna be the main, the main belt itself. Check back guys, we're gonna be doing reviews on all the different components here in the next couple videos. All right, guys. Later.